How to get logs from iOS device using Xcode. If you're troubleshooting an app on your iOS device and need to get to the bottom of what's going wrong, you're likely looking for a way to extract the device logs. Let's walk through the steps to get these logs using Xcode. First, you'll need a few things. Xcode installed on your Mac, a USB cable, and the iOS device where the issue occurred. Connect your iOS device to your Mac using the USB cable. Open Xcode on your Mac and go to the menu bar. Select Window and then Devices and Simulators. This will open a new window where you can see all connected devices. In this window, select your iPhone from the list on the left side. You'll see a few options here, but what you're looking for is the Open Console button or the View Device Logs option. Click on either of these to view the logs. To get specific app crash logs, click on the up triangle at the bottom of the screen to view device logs. Here you'll see a list of logs, including crash logs. Identify the log related to your app by looking at the process column and selecting your app. Once you've clicked on the relevant on the corresponding app entry and select export log to save the crash log to your computer. You can also rename the file if needed and share it via email or any other method. If you need to symbolicate the crash log, which means translating the log into something more readable by showing source file names and line numbers, you can do this within Xcode as well. Simply drag the crash log file into the device log section of the Xcode organizer. If the correct symbol files are on your system, Xcode will symbolicate the log automatically. Alternatively, if you don't see the device logs section, ensure that you have a device connected to Xcode even if it's not the same device that experienced the crash. This will make the device logs panel visible where you can drag and drop your crash log file. By following these steps, you'll be able to extract and analyze the logs from your iOS device, helping you troubleshoot and fix any issues with your app.